side and today we going over my crazy card collection over a thousand cards we're gonna go back down memory lane i got pages and pages of michael jordan cards you know we got we got kobe bryant rookie cards uh shack you know what i'm saying some classics we got we got everything man so i'm gonna go over some of them we got you know your boy ai the question and the answer so we're gonna go back down memory lane let me know who y'all favorite team is okay so let's get into this most of this is alphabetical i haven't rearranged these based on who was good and that's what i love about this collection is that it's a snapshot in a space and time from about 92 like i said to 99 so a lot of my cards is before uh certain players really took off and some of it is uh, after and etc etc so remember i'm gonna just highlight a couple of the players that i'm sure y'all remember off a different team so atlanta hawks you got mookie blaylock you know what i'm saying he was that dude in atlanta as well as christian leitner stacy augman and uh charlotte with the hornets of course you had alonzo morning but you know i got anthony mason here larry johnson you know them dudes was killers um you got the alonzo morning down here um robert Parrish, rex chapman vladi divok tony delk so I'm going to skip through a lot of this. Uh, you got the Larry Bird. This is one of my first cards. The gold Larry Bird. Dominique Wilkins on the, on the uh, Celtics was beautiful. Um, another Larry Bird there. And then I got the old joint. Sam Jones. Bill Russell. Top right, le you know, top left corner. Um, to the next page, D. Brown was one of my favorite players. You know what I'm saying? You got the D. Brown, the Dana Barrows, Antonio Walker um, on the Celtics. You know what I'm saying? Rick Fox. So then you get to the Bulls. Uh, and I got the Jordan collection. I bought this collection of Jordan cards uh, from 1984 to 1993. Um, They're not actually from that time, but I think it was like 50-something cards in a box, something crazy. So I got a bunch of Jordan cards. Some of them was different, though. So, uh, you know, I always liked these two cards. Uh, I used to ride around with one of the Jordan rookie cards, one of the ones I was looking for. So I used to have an Impala, and I used to ride around with that in the uh on the by the speed you know the speedometer so here's more jordan cars all jordan cars uh the shot you know what i mean a whole bunch of different uh a whole bunch of different cars uh, more jordan cars all jordan cars pages on pages front and back you know what i'm saying the shot you know what i'm saying um more front and back jordan cards you know what i mean this always was one of my favorites the electrified i got a couple of those from a certain series and then what y'all remember about that black that black bulls jersey i had to have it i had to i had the jersey and the shorts you know i had the jersey and the shorts the pinstripe if you had the pinstripe then it wasn't official you know um but that was a beautiful time right there and then you got the scotty pippen I always like this one right here the uh with the with the screws and bolts behind it says nuts and bolts uh that's a fleet and flare and metal uh, as well as this one so you know this is like like i said man this is this is just a glimpse at some of my childhood ron harper baby dennis Rodman. you know this is this is from that era you know what i'm saying obviously on the rebounds um you know bj armstrong steve kerr luke longley y'all know what it is man y'all know how that bulls team this is like how i fell in love with basketball of course through michael jordan's bulls as i was coming up um as a youngin so then you get into the cavaliers you got mark price man like i said i got old shit vidali papa potapenko or whatever the fuck man you know what i'm saying people i don't even remember shit um one of these i love terrell brandon what y'all man i haven't heard some of these names in so long here go my boy Derek anderson I always liked this car you could feel the basketballs on that car they all um they all raise up and if y'all know some of the value of some of these cars then let me know you know, I haven't valued none of these. Now we get into my boy, J. Kidd. One of my first cards. J. Kidd, all the flame cards was one of my first cards. Uh, J. Kidd, rookie. You know what I mean? Rookie season with the fade. With the Mavericks. Shout out to Dallas, man. Shout out to all my subscribers in Dallas. What y'all know about Robert Pack, a.k.a. Jamie Foxx. Looking ass. You know what I'm saying? Michael Finley. You know what I'm saying, man? This beautiful days of basketball. Robert Pack. Um... And what I used to do is I used to study some of these cards. Jamal Mashburn, the Monster Mash. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Electrified, that's another one. Crystal Ball, 
You know what I'm saying? Some cold cards. I'm probably going to pass over some of the ones because I'm trying to uh, operate at the same time. Jalen Rose rookie card. All these ones that say draft right there. That's the tops. You know what I'm saying? Jalen Jalen Rose at Michigan. You know what I'm saying? Robert Pack looking like Jamie Foxx looking ass. Dikembe Mutombo, Bobby Jackson. Darvin Ham, man, come on, man. This is the this is the Nuggets. You know what I'm saying? Mark Jackson on the Nuggets. Uh, Muhammad Abdul Rauf. Got them all, baby. You know what I'm saying? Now, now we getting into the now we getting into my 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 dude right here, Grant Hill. What y'all know about him? Grant Hill, Page of Grant Hill. You got to always like this card. This was one of my first cards right here. This was one of the ones. Um, but I always like Grand Hill, you know what I'm saying? I always like, always like Grand Hill. Obviously, you know he succumbed to the injuries when the turquoise jersey came out. I had to have it, you know. I had, I had the regular one too. I had the, uh, I had that blue one. But then when this one came out, when them, when them came out, <laughs> had to have it, you know what I'm saying? So, Grand Hill was probably my second favorite player behind Michael Jordan easily because he was already established well before Kobe. And I'm going to get into that in one second. So we still in Detroit with it. Shout out to Detroit. Shout out to Flint. You know what I mean? Shout out to Michigan. I got the old Joe Dumars on there. I got the gold Dennis Rodman. These is old cars. Lindsey Hunter was a beast. You know what I'm saying? Uh, who else we got? Theo Ratliff. I mean, this is how I, this is how I love to remember the NBA because these are the players that none of y'all knew. Fans and people that just started watching basketball will ever remember, man. Stacey Augman was a beast. Oh, man, the Allen Houston almost missed it. Allen Houston on the Pistons right there with the gold on it. You know what I mean? That's a, that's a joint. You know what I'm saying? Ronnie Seekley looking as Warriors fans. Don't remember him. You know what I'm saying? Latrell Sprewell all over the page. Boom, that was always a, a beautiful. This is probably one of my favorite cards. It says Team of the Future. Come on, man. That's the I've been known about the war. Like every team in the NBA, whatever y'all think y'all knew about their history, I know about them. Trust me, I used to study this. Remember, I'm this is a card collection I haven't touched in 20 years. I had this from the time I was about five to the time I was about I don't know uh, nine. Yeah, what 92 to 99. So about seven years. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I haven't added to my collection, and I haven't tried to get no other cards. I've never went and traded no cards, nothing. Everything I got is from cutting grass as a youngster or, you know what I'm saying? I didn't even, before I was even a teenager, I was done with it. So, this is all, this is my pre-teens, you know what I'm saying? Latrell Sprewell, you know what I mean? So, shout out to Oakland. You know, them Golden State Warriors, you know, now that they done moved and stuff like that. But uh, Rick Barry on your ass, you know what I mean? I got him. You know, Clifford Rozier, y'all don't even know who that dude is. Keith Jennings, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know who that is. Uh, Chris Mullen, I got him. Like I said, whoever you think you know on your team, I got him. Mark Price, Tim Hardaway, baby. Tim, man, love, love me some Tim Hardaway. You know what I'm saying? Mark Price was a beast on that NBA Live on uh, Super Nintendo, I think it was. Shout out to my brother. So then I got the Team USA. This was a later edition because um, I had somehow, I don't even remember how I got these USA cards, but you got Reggie Miller, you got Shaq, um, you got uh, Charles Barkley at the All-Star Game, Mitch Richmond, Carl Malone got a rookie card, Rasheed Wallace, you got Steve Nash. Uh, we about to get into the good shit. I'm, I'm going to speed it up a little bit. The Kimbe Matumbo, whole page. You know what I'm saying? Um, Steve Smith on the Atlanta, on the, uh, on the Hawks. So, wait, how I get Hawks back here? See, this is what I'm talking about. See, I haven't even touched. I don't even know how that happened. So, you know, we tripping. But it is what it is. So, now we in Houston with it. Shout out to Houston. Whole page, baby. The one that, I would say... The best center. I think this is my favorite center. If he not the best center, the dream. Hakeem Olajuwon, baby. And I got some beautiful cars here. You know, you got the Superman. I got a couple of cars like that. Um, of course, the Jam City, that was always a classic one. This was one of my first ones I ever got. And sometimes, you know, I just ordered these and how I got them. Then you got Clyde the Glide with Houston Rockets. And I always love these cars. It says Atomic on it. 
Clyde Drexler, baby. You know what I'm saying? Got this beautiful looking one as well. Some of these cars have imprints that you can feel, so they even better. But uh, you got the Sam Cassell down there. Got Charles Barkley. Plenty of Charles Barkley. And now you hear the sirens because, you know, I live in the city and the block is hot. And now you know that this is officially blessed. So as we continue, I got one of my favorite teams, man, the Pacers. Indiana Pacers, Mark Jackson was one of my favorite players, how he played point guard. I played point guard and shooting guard, so I like how he played ball. He played defense. He passed. Uh, he got to the foul line. You know what I'm saying? You see him getting it in. Shout out to Rick Smith. What y'all know about Rick Smith? Smith, man, he was a beast. Then you got the one and only Reggie Miller. You know what I'm saying? Got plenty of Reggie Miller to the left. And then Jalen Rose, of course on the Pacers was a beast. Dra Travis Best, somebody I haven't heard name in a long time. I got Malik Seeley, you know, rest in peace with the Pacers. So I got my shit, Dale Davis. Come on, man, stop playing. I got dudes y'all think y'all, okay, so let's get into them Clipper fans, you know. All you all you fake Clipper fans, you know what I'm saying? Y'all think y'all know something, but y'all don't know nothing about no Clippers. What y'all know about Danny Manning, you know what I'm saying? What y'all know about Malik Seeley? On the Clippers, you know what I'm saying? So you got them on the Pacers, and you got them on the Clippers. Boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? What y'all know about Pooh Richardson? Come on, man. Stop playing. Rest in peace to Lorenzen Wright. This is a beautiful car. You can feel all the uh, basketball on it. You know what I'm saying? You got the Lorenzen Wright. So I've been doing this, man. Stop playing with your boy. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Brian Williams. You know, R.I.P. to him. Got him on the Clippers. Brent Berry. Um, who else we got? So let's keep it moving. Now we talking, baby. Showtime. You know what I'm saying? Showtime. R.I.P. to Kobe Bryant. Like I said, I'll let y'all get a little get get a little action in there. You know what I'm saying? Let's focus it a little bit. So we got the Kobe Bryant and we got the the um the the the, the Shaq. You know what I'm saying? So um Rookie card, it's, it's a R, a golden R right there in the corner. You know what I'm saying? Rookie card, a uh, couple couple action cards. You got Kobe versus Sharif Abdul Rahim. Uh, Kobe in the cast. This this what I was referring to earlier. This is what I was referring to uh, in my previous live stream is that Kobe Bryant took his uh, he took his picture uh, in a cast. You know what I mean? <laughs> he took his rookie, one of his rookie photo ops in a cast. So that's what I was referring to. Um, you know, this is, I think, maybe his second year. But uh, these Shaq cards is beautiful. I always like these cards. Let me get it. Let me see. There we go. So uh, back to the topic. Uh, you know, beautiful backgrounds. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know the price of these cards. I don't know what it, you know, Shaq, when he first signed with the Lakers, so this is this is this shit is close to me, you know what I mean? This is always a car I like. Um Nick the Quick baby, you know what I'm saying? One of my probably the person that made me um if not, you know, obviously the the Showtime Lakers. My 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 pops was a was a Laker fan, so naturally I got into it. Uh I had to watch and study. He he had so many Laker tapes and all that stuff. So um, but here you go. I got Travis Knight, man. Some of y'all don't know nothing about no Travis Knight. You got Eddie Jones rookie card. Couple Eddie Jones, you know what I'm saying? Cedric Sabalos, of course. Um, so this is, you know, near and dear. I got Kareem. Come on, man. Stop playing with your boy. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. I got Derek Fisher as a rookie. Then I got Magic. You know, you got to have some Magic. I got James Worthy. So I don't even know how I got the cars that predated 1992, but I got them. And I'm pretty sure I got them in a natural way. It wasn't like I had to go scheme. Keep in mind, this is before the internet was really even popping. You see what I'm saying? So now we got that. We got Alonzo Morning on the Miami Heat. And it's funny. I'll tell you a story about my Miami Heat collection. I believe it's my Miami Heat. You got PJ Brown at the bottom. Um, somebody in my family actually stole my, my, my Miami Heat cards and sold them shits. Tim Hardaway. So I think I might be missing some. I don't know if it's the Heat or another team that's red. I can't remember. I think it's the Heat. But uh, you got Tim Hardaway, of course, on the Heat. I love me some Tim Hardaway, Mark Jackson, man. All the point guards that was uh, crafty and 
uh, Hustle, AI, we're going to get there in a second. Now we got another one of my favorite teams, man, the Milwaukee Bucks, man. Y'all don't know about no Milwaukee Bucks, talking about some Giannis, man. Glenn, Glenn Robinson, the big dog, you know what I'm saying? It says team of the future. You got another one of those that Latrell Sprewell had, another flame card. This was one of my first cards. But uh, you got Ray Allen, rookie card. You know what I mean? Stop playing with your boy. All of these is rookie. So all the 95, 96, 97 class, I got their rookie shit. I've never tried to value it. And it's crazy seeing is how I haven't touched these cards in that long. If you look, this shit got nothing but dust. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I haven't even, I, don't, I rarely touch these, but I've kept them because they're part of my childhood. Some people play with toys. This was my thing. I studied these cards and I go out there, play ball. I watch them on TV. I get cards. I play ball. I watch them on TV. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it was a cycle. You know what I'm saying? This is my first love. So you got more Glenn Robinson. You know what I'm saying? He was a beast, man. Like people don't even be knowing. Like they know names, but it's different when you watch them ball and you seen how they was getting down. Sam Cassell, man. Y'all know nothing about it, man. Vin Baker was a beast on the Bucks. You know what I'm saying? My boy. Elliot Perry, you know what I'm saying? Uh, who else we got? Another, Brandon Terrell. He was a decent player. I'm going to skip over some people and probably not even realize it just because I'm trying to go fast. But, um, you know, Armand Gilliam, I met him before. You know what I'm saying? Who else we got? We got, okay, now we in Minnesota, man. Y'all know nothing about talking about some Wiggins and some some Carl Anthony Towns, man. Let's go. You know, you got the Donnell, the Danielle Marshall rookie card. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Tom Tom Gugliotta, man. Tom Gugliotta, I ain't even heard that name. Now, oh, it's about to get serious. We got Stefan Marbury with the part. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? You got the slam card, uh, the rookie rewind. You know what I'm saying? All these rookie cards. Now, this is a beautiful card right here. This is a beautiful card right there. You know what I'm saying? That's the KG. And then I'm going to pull out this one on you. Then I'm going to pull out this one on you. Bam, you know what I'm saying? That one, I had that one forever. You know what I'm saying? This is this another uh, a KG joint. You know what I'm saying? I think back in 97 or whatever, it was about $75. So I don't even know what it is today. I don't, like I said, you know, I ain't really tripping off of it. You know what I mean? So, you know, you got the Stephon Marbury. Love me some Stephon Marbury, man. Kevin Garnett was it. Do I need to say anything more? Kevin Garnett was who he was on the on the uh, Timberwolves. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the Celtics was just like a cherry on top. So then you got the uh, the uh, New Jersey Nets, man. Like I said, Brooklyn Nets. You know y'all could have them, but we going to New Jersey. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to Jersey. Shout out to Jersey. You know what I'm saying? My dudes in Jersey. So now let's get into it, man. Kenny Anderson. Let's go. You know we got Kenny Anderson, and it's crazy because last night when I pulled this out of my uh, out of where I had it. I was literally, swear to God on my life, man, on, on everything I love, I have no reason to lie. I passed this page and I said, look at Kendall Gill, because I know who Kendall Gill is. I've known him since I was a kid because I had his card. Everybody card I had, I studied, I read their card front and back. You know what I'm saying? I studied it. And soon as I, soon as I did that, because I did it after I got off my live stream, Real rap will remember that because I hit him up about he he sent me his little little boy collection of cards and I sent them my big boy shit get that shit out of here so anyway <laughs> so when I got when I got it back um I passed this page and I was watching Fred and Fred mentioned Kendall Gill I said ain't that crazy but I had already passed his page like I had just passed it like this. And then he mentioned Kendall Gill. I was like, man, because Kendall Gill is a crazy big boxing fan, and he's cool with Fred. And so Fred was talking about it. So let's get into it even more so why I remember these teams. You know, you got the Jason Williams. You know, you got the um, and RIP to him. Or is he? I can't remember if he passed away or he in prison. But, um, you know, I'm sensitive to the subject, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Now you got Kerry Kittles. I got multiple Kerry Kittles cars, and I got the signed Kerry Kittles. Now, the story behind that is that Kerry Kittles' uh, mother used to work with, uh, with, with, with my family in New Orleans in the hospital. 
and 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 they used to connect or whatever. So that's how I got a couple extra carry kittles. You got the Keith Van Horn, man, Derek Coleman. Stop playing with your boy. Anybody, anybody your team had, I had him. You know, Sam Cassell, and I got multiple. Derek Coleman, Keith Van Horn. Now let's get into New York, New York. Shout out to all the boroughs. You feel me? Let's get into them New York Knicks. Okay. Patrick Ewing, you feel me? One of the best centers of all time. On the roll. Uh, a lot of good good, uh, good cars right there. You got the Superman. Allen Houston right there. I love that car right there. The crystal ball. You know, a lot of memories with the Knicks. John Starks was a beast, as we all know. Uh, Charles, Ar Charles Oakley. Uh, I got, man, everybody, man, you had, if you name him, I got him. You know, I got Larry Johnson on on your Knicks. Uh, John Wallace, some of y'all ain't gonna remember that name. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now, nah, let's get into one of my favorite teams of all time, the Orlando Magic, with none other than Penny Anthony Hardaway. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see it. Anthony, 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 Anthony Hardaway. All over the page, got the shack on the bottom. Uh, love Penny, you know what I'm saying? Another one of my ins inspirations. Uh, more shack, more shack. Um, rookie cards, uh, this one say 94, 95. That's one of my first cards as well. You got uh, Dennis Scott, uh, Nick Anderson, man. <sighs> Dennis Scott was a beast, man. From the trade. You know what I'm saying? You know, more Ron, Ronnie Seekley, man. Y'all don't remember no, my, man, Ronnie Seekley was a beast. You know what I'm saying? He was a beast. Now we getting into my, I ain't gonna lie, man. AI was my favorite behind. Once Grand Hill went down in between that little inter, intersection, I would say even more so than Kobe, I love me some AI, man. And I think it's because AI was so influential and he did so much. Uh, I basically grew up with him, and I felt like everything he was doing, like I was, I was trying to either imitate it or I was just inspired by it. So all of these is basically AI rookie cards. You see, it say rookie rewind. You know, you got him with the jersey. You could tell by his hair that it's his rookie. You know what I'm saying? He got a little braids, trying to get some hang time on some of these cards. <laughs> Man, I got old ass cards. How Greer looking ass? You know what I'm saying? I got more Derek Coleman, Charles Barkley, Sean Bradley looking ass, you know what I'm saying? Whole page of Jerry Stackhouse. Let's kick it into overdrive, y'all. Okay, we got the Suns, Kevin Johnson. Um, more Suns, Charles Barkley, Michael Finley, Danny Manning, you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever y'all want to do with it. Robert Ori, Cedric Sabalos. Let's get into it. Uh, Jermaine O'Neal, rookie cards. Um... Jermaine O'Neal, Rod Strickland, man. Shout out to Rod Strickland, one of my favorites as well, man. More Kenny Anderson on the Blazers. I got a Bill Walton for you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Clifford Robinson was a beast. Rasheed Wallace's, some beautiful cars right there. Now we kicking in the overdrive, all right? Um, you got your boy Isaiah Ryder all over the page. You got Mitch Richmond holding it down for the Sacramento Kings. This was one of my favorite, uh, one of my first cards and one of my favorite cards. I used to like Mitch Richmond, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to NBA Live 97. Shout out to Muhammad Abdul Rauf. Bam, got him. You know what I'm saying? Spud Webb looking ass. That was one of my first cards. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now we on the San Antonio the Spurs. Y'all remember Tim Duncan? I remember that Admiral David Robinson looking ass. You know what I'm saying? I'm just playing around now. You know what I'm saying? Shit getting, we just trying to muscle through. So I got Tim Duncan as a rookie. Like I said, uh, Sean Elliott was a beast. Uh, Dominique Wilkins. Uh, Vinny Del Negro was a dog. You know what I'm saying? Terry Cummings looking ass. You know what I'm saying? Chuck Persons. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, shit. The glove. Shout out to Gary. Peyton of the Supersonics, like I said, I don't know them about, I don't know nothing about no Thunder or nothing about that, but I do know about that man from Oakland, Gary Payton. You see the whole page, man. It's a beautiful car right here as well. Some of these I should have did the reflect type of uh, effect on it, but Sean Kemp, y'all already know what it is, man. The rain. This was one of my uh, early cars. All these flame ones came in a pack, I think. And so I acquired these mostly through Detlef Shrimp was a beast, man. Stop playing. Y'all don't remember this shit, man. Stop. Okay. The Toronto Raptors. 
the Toronto Raptors. Damon Stoudemire used to go to a school with uh, somebody who was related to him. Damon Stoudemire was a beast, you know what I'm saying? Marcus Camby was the face of the Raptors, you know what I'm saying? So I got plenty of them. This is a rookie card, and it's a skybox, whatever the fuck that means. I don't know nothing about cards. I just used to collect them, and I know my shit is beastie. So if you know it's beastie, hit me up. Let me know what I could do with some of these cards. Um, some of these filler cards, you know what I'm saying? This book heavy now. It's heavy. John Stockton, Utah Jazz was a beast. I always loved John Stockton. He played the game raw. You know what I'm saying? Played defense, offense, and in between, he was a great one-two combo. You see the, you know what I'm saying? You see him against Penny. You know, you see the whole page. This is a real art type of uh, card right here. I always like that card right there. So we in the U, so we almost towards the end, y'all. Bear with me, Utah Jazz, okay? And so, what would the Utah Jazz be without your boy, the mailman? You know what I'm saying? Carl Malone got plenty of them. You know what I'm saying? Some, a lot of gold, you know what I'm saying? Some milestone. Like I said, I don't remember where I got all of these cards, but I just know I bought most of them and uh, I earned them, basically. Here's another one of them metallic, you know what I'm saying? One of the metallic ones. I always like that effect on the card. Um... Sharif Abdul Rahim, you know, the Vancouver Grizzlies. This is how far back my, you know what I'm saying? We ain't even in Memphis yet. We in Vancouver with it. So, you know, Brian, Brian Reeves, what the f man, come on, man. We back in the, we back in the original. So I'll let, see, some of y'all know these guys because of 2K. I know this because I was actually watching and studying every single person that played in the NBA from the time I was about five to the time I was about what, uh, 13, 12 or 13 before, but as soon as I hit teenage years. So now I'm in, now I'm in, now I'm in Washington. You know, I, I'm, uh, we, we, we with the bullets, not the wizards with the bullets, man. Come on, man. What y'all know about some Tracy Murray, Jawan Howard. Y'all see it, man. You know, Rex Chapman. Um, and so we towards the end now, right? Chris Webber with the bullets, Rod Strickland with the bullets, whatever you want. David Wingate, come on, man, don't play. George Marison, tallest people in the NBA, man. George Marison, a couple of them. Then you got the Wizards, you know. I squeeze in a couple Wizards somehow. So this is the collection, man. Uh, I got more. Tom Gugliotta, Scott Skiles, man. Come on, bro. My collection, crazy. So. You know, I got a couple more that I know I'm missing. I know I'm missing a particular Jordan card. These are some cards I bought, like, in the last five years just because I wanted to have some Saints cards to add to my football, my small football page. But this is all, this is all, um, this, all of this is from 1992 or three to 1990. I would say 98 or 99. You didn't have Kobe Bryant and Shaq's three-peat in here. And you didn't have Kevin Durant in here and all these new guys. You feel me? Because this is just how uh, I used to rock with it. So, you know, this is my sports card collection, man. Uh, <laughs> I used to, I've had this since I was a youngster, man. So, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Rocking with the baddest brand in the land. Let me know what y'all think about this video. If y'all want to see more videos like this, I got a whole CD collection like this. So let me know what y'all think in the comments. Hit the like button. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook at the Champ Side. Follow us on Instagram at Champ underscore Side. It's the baddest brand in the land for the best media content. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. You're now locked into the Champ Side. And just to add, in essence. This is one of the reasons why we got here. This very book and before you is one of the reasons why we got here and why uh, this platform was established. You know, my love for sports and, uh, you know, just having a purpose behind pushing, you know, people that inspire me. Everybody in this book inspired me. People that are forgotten, people that y'all have never heard of, but I remember